there is no way that when you're doing space exploration, you're going to take along with you everything you need, everything you need to repair, everything you need uh, for the astronauts. You're going to have to make things. And probably, if you want to do efficient space exploration, you're going to have to recycle things. And that means taking things apart and putting them back together and building things, building complex things, building machines, building tools, building artificial body parts. And you can be sure that one of the aims of what we're doing in the search for artificial life and this ecosystems and active metamaterials is to make devices, machines that are biocompatible and may be used in artificial limbs, in, in repair of, of body parts and things like that. And the more we understand, probably the more interactions we'll see that way. We're not interested in figuring out how individual uh, components of a biological system work, but we're, rather what the organizing principles are of active matter. That's a big part of understanding uh, the organizing principles for living things and for other dynamic things. We have started to make particles which can sense one another, which can bind specifically to other particles, which can change shape. And again, microgravity will play a big role. And the reason is just as with the equilibrium particles, gravity tends to mask lots of things on this scale. It won't mask things on the scale of uh, atoms, but on the scale of more complex objects, colloids, polymers, liquid crystals, um, gravity plays a significant role and it can mask the effects that we're trying to see. So if we want to really understand phenomena like that, what we have to do is isolate what's important in different aspects of the problem. And to do that, we have to get rid of gravity because otherwise, for example, the swimmers that we make which aggregate like flocks of birds or like schools of fish. They, in gravity on Earth, essentially are confined to two dimensions. Uh, everything just settles to the bottom of your sample. And so things that we're interested in doing are taking these things in microgravity where the small objects, the three-dimensional, can move in three dimensions and explore space the way larger objects on Earth, birds and fish and such, move and how they organize themselves.